Hello, West Hills Church. Welcome to our Christmas devotionals. We're wrapping up some of our Christmas uh, prophecy, and then we'll make our way next, uh, the rest of the week into some Christmas theology. Some of our elders and deacons will be teaching along with Marty and myself as well. Uh, but we thank you for participating and joining in with us. And so today I want to look at Zechariah chapter 12, verse 10. It's one verse. I want to read it to you. It's a powerful prophecy, maybe the most significant of them all. It's, it's quite remarkable. Uh, Ch Zechariah chapter 12, verse 10. It reads this. And I will pour out on the house of David and the inhabitants of Jerusalem a spirit of grace and supplication. Listen to what God says. They will look on me, the one they have pierced, and they will mourn for him as one mourns for an only child and grieve bitterly for him as one grieves for a firstborn son. And it's a remarkable prophecy because what's happening is God is saying, they will look on me, the one they have pierced. And, and this is cool because this shows um, that, that God has a plan and it's that God would be incarnate, that God would become and live as a man on earth, um, which we know is, is done in the, in the form of the son um, when he comes. It's the Christmas story that God takes on human flesh to save man. And it says that he'll be pierced. It's, it's, um, it's a prophecy um, speaking to the cross that he will be run through with a sword. Uh, and, and this is a big deal. And so salvation... This is if you miss if you get nothing else in all these devotions, salvation is from God start to finish. That salvation is from God start to finish. Um, that that God the Father um, would come to the earth in the form of, of the Son and, and incarnate in the flesh um, to rescue man by living, um, born of the virgin birth, living the, the perfect life, and then dying the most gruesome of deaths, um, and then and then and through the resurrection, um, defeating death and sin once and for all, and making it possible for all of us. Um, to, to be saved. That's that's the that's a, a really uh, amazing amazing truth. There's this story um, of of this king, the king of Spain, um, that was uh, in this monastery, this old monastery, and, and this architect built an ark, a beautiful uh, large ark. Um, there in Madrid and the king of Spain did not like that art because every time he went under it He felt like it was so low that it that it might um, fall and collapse and kill the king um, And so he ordered that the architect have a column built in the middle of the ark to hold the arch up um, To keep it from falling and, and possibly killing the king But interestingly enough Eventually the king would die not from the arch but from some other way the king would die and then the architect started showing everybody bragging that even though he built that column um, he was confident that arch would never fall, that it was built properly. And so there was actually a gap between the column and the arch. It never supported the arch, not even once. The arch still remained, um, even to this day. And they even will come up there and, and they'll show and they'll slide something between the column and the arch to demonstrate that. And and so what I think that's a picture of is, is what we read about in Zechariah 12, that from the start to finish, it's always been God who orchestrates and brings salvation to man. It's by nothing we can erect or, or do uh, to strengthen um, or, or to bring salvation. It's all the work of God that's all done by him. Um, he doesn't need our help to bring salvation. In fact, our help is is failed and flawed from the very beginning. It's all by God um, that we find salvation. It's always through God um, that we can know him, walk with him, be reconciled to him, be empowered by the spirit. That all comes from God. And uh, that's the Christmas story. That's the Christmas message. So your challenge this week um, is really simple. Is I just want you to, every day, um, every day this week, would you just pray and ask God to remind you um, that you need him. You need him in, in, not just for salvation, but you need him daily. So that's your challenge is for you to pray daily, asking God um, to remind you uh, that you need him um, for salvation, certainly. But, but even beyond that, you need, you need God every day to live the life that you're called to live. So would you, would you join me this week in, in praying that way? That's the challenge. And, and then let me just pray for us uh, briefly, and, and then we'll, uh, we'll wrap up together. But let's pray. Father, thank you uh, for your truth in Zechariah 12, 10, reminding us that from, from long ago, long before Christ had walked on this earth, you had a plan, a plan of salvation for all of us. Um, and I pray that we see that it's always been you from start to finish, um, that it's always been you. And uh, that continues to be the truth. And so we thank you for all that you do. We thank you for how you love us and uh, how we have the opportunity to know you and to walk with you. And I pray, God, that we would get that we can trust you for salvation, but we can trust you also um, for our daily living. We pray all these things in Christ's name. Amen. Merry Christmas. Love you guys. See you tomorrow.